Um, so how I created the thought highs, which were mm -hmm. them renamed stems. Mm -hmm. I really wanted like a catchy name, you know, like Spanx and like, you know, these companies, they have just the one word that explains everything. <laughs> so at first it was leather thigh highs, like LB, you know, like little black dress LBD, so it's LTH. Um, and I, yeah, I really wanted something that was easy because it was really hard getting clients into thigh high boots because they're like like really hard to put on you have to get your foot in and then the whole thing and I'm like, you know what? I have so many like booties in my closet. I'd love that kind of look without having to like go through the trouble of putting on the thigh high boots. So I sketched out a um, exactly what I wanted and then I went to Harlem. Swiss Beats had a um, custom tailor that designed a lot of like crazy leather jackets when he was in the uh, band called, I think it's DMX, the band that he was in, and they did a lot of like custom stuff, so I went up to Harlem with a bunch of sketches, a pair of leather leggings, um, thigh high boots, and some like photos of like what the inspiration was, a pair of, I showed them stir up like the foot, and tried to explain to someone who barely spoke any English um, exactly what I wanted, and he said, okay, come back in two days, and two days later, I got a prototype of the stems, and it was the most incredible moment of my life, being able to put on something that I didn't, you know, borrow from someone. I didn't go to check someone's showroom or like pull it from something. I made it myself and I created it, and that's what turned myself into a brand. And because I wanted, you know, other girls to wear something that they felt really confident in, and um, you know, I'd never done any design, they, they, you know, I didn't really know any fashion designers or like know people that have been through this and I honestly had no idea what I was doing. And so I figured like, let's just wear them and see what people think. So I started wearing them out and one day I wore them to an intermix event and the buyers came up to me and they were like, what are those? And I remember thinking, I'm like, I sent you guys an email a couple of weeks ago and like no one got back to me. But again, it's a product option driver. It's something that, yeah, it's so many different colors, but it's something that you really have to like see on. You can actually look at that frame right there, and you can see it on. Um, but, um, see that photo? That's what they look like on. So when you kind of just see it, you're like, what is this scuba sock? Um, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, I was wearing them to an intermix event, and they were like, we love these. And they emailed me the next day, and they said, can we get some samples? And they placed an order for 50 pairs in their LA and New York stores. I was like, how am I gonna produce 50 <laughs> pairs in like two weeks? But I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll do it, I'll do it. And you know, let alone my shipping date was November 25th and they were out exactly on November 25th and in stores for the holiday season and they sold out within two months. Um, and that was the start of my designing. And you know, it was so much fun because it really opened my eyes to like, I really love to design and I loved, you know, my clients when they would put them on and they just like felt like such a badass and it, you know, that's exactly what I wanted out of my brand is like to create something that like people feel really good and confident in. And, um, I, and then I started doing the fake leather ones, which was a this bigger one, market. These ones are fake leather, right? So that's, um, synthetic leather. Oh, and it's cool. And you could tell with the back, it's like yeah. super... Like yeah, shady. so like these retail for four eighty five in Intermix, and it's like that's a really like small, you know, small demographic of people that can afford that. And like if I really wanted to spread this message, it kind of had to be mass produced. So I started playing with like different fabrics, and I went to an interior uh, fabric store, it's, like ones that like buy like fabrics for like couches and stuff, and they had fake leather. So I bought like a giant roll of that and tested out my product with the fake leather, and that turned into a whole other market for me. Um, so the fake leather are on AHA Life. Um, I sell them on Etsy and you know, you get much larger orders with the fake leather because that's the, it's like a fake suede. Oh wow, it feels amazing. Yeah, um, and then that price point is under $100. And so yes, that's like way more affordable. And you know, from there, I started designing all sorts of stuff. And this beautiful cute little robe. That robe, I, um, I love, you know, it's funny, like artists, they draw 